Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to insert audio comments in Google Docs, Google Classroom, and Google Slides. So while there are several different extensions that allow you to insert audio comments in Google Docs, Google Classroom, and Google Slides, my favorite is Moat. I have a link to the Moat extension in the description below. So once you install Moat into your Chrome, you can begin using it. So let's take this assignment that one of my students did. If I wanted to leave an audio comment, I would do it the same way I'd leave a regular comment. So I can either click on the add comment here or up here. And now you'll notice you see the Moat logo in the comments. So all I have to do is click on that and you'll see it begins recording. Once I'm finished, I can click done. And you'll see that it's inserted a link. And once I'm finished, I can click on comment to post the comment, or I can click on this edit button down in the bottom right hand corner. And when I click that, I'll be able to preview my recording as well as uh, translate it so that it's written out so students can read it as well. So let's click on that. That, and you'll see it begins recording. Once I'm finished, I can click done. So you can hear the preview. I can download that comment if I'd like. So I can translate it into say Spanish and you'll see it changed up top here. And now I can click save. You'll see that it changed my text into Spanish. And when I click on the play button, I'll hear my comment. That, and you'll see it begins recording. Once I'm finished, I can click done. And so if the student has Mo enabled, they'll see this and then they can just click on the play button that, and you'll see it begin if they don't have the moat extension there will be a link that they can click on so i just opened it up in an incognito window and you can see the link that i referred to so if the student didn't have the moat extension they can click on that link and then they can listen to the comment that, and you'll see it begins and they can also leave an emoji response that says either I may still need help or I understand. Now, if you click on the moat icon in your toolbar, there is a feature where if you go to settings and help, you can enable voice transcription and you can enable that into a certain language. So you can have that either in English or in any of these languages. We'll just keep it in English for right now. So now let's go into Google Classroom and you'll see a post I made this morning. Now I can leave a comment and just like before I can click on the moat and you'll see it automatically begins recording. So it's recording my voice right now. I can click done. And then just like before I can click on the pencil. And you'll see it automatically begins. And now that I've enabled the transcript, you'll see that it types out everything that I was saying. It's recording. So it's recording my voice right now. I can click and just like before, I can take that and translate it. So I can translate that into Spanish if I wanted. And now there's a Spanish transcript to what I was just writing. I can click save and exit. And then I'll post that. And now you'll see my post has the Spanish transcript as well as my audio recording. And you'll see it automatically begins recording. So it's recording my voice right now. And just like before, if the students have the Moat extension, they can just click on the button there. If they don't, it'll be a link that will take them to another page that they can listen to the recording on. Now I went into my classwork and I, you can see the assignment that my students did. Um, over on the right side, I can insert private comments the same way as I did with the others, just by clicking on the Moat icon. And in Google Slides, there's two different things you can do. You can leave comments just like before in Google Docs. And it works the same way by just clicking on the moat icon. And just like before, it automatically starts recording. You can click done. And then you can also click on the pencil to edit the moat icon. And just like before. And we still have the transcript enabled. So you'll see that it transcribed what I said. So we'll leave that comment. There's also an option to insert audio into the slides itself. So if I click on this M logo up top here, and then click on it again to start. 
I can now begin recording an audio of what I want to talk about. So this happens to be some slides about digital citizenship. I can talk about that. When I'm done, I can click on the M to stop. And then I can preview it by clicking on the play button. I can now begin recording an audio. And if you want to keep it, you can click insert. If you want to delete it and start over, you can click on the garbage can. We'll insert just so I can show you. And then you'll see the icon in the top left there. You can make it bigger or smaller. And then it has all the audio options so it can begin when someone clicks on it or automatically. It's also got the volume options. So you can go through and decide how you want this to work. Now it is worth noting that Moat is free. However, if you go to justmoat.me, you can see which options are free and which are premium. Every user gets 30 days free with the premium. The premium features that I showed you today were the translating and the transcribing. Everything else is free. So with the free version, you can insert notes and comments that are 30 seconds long. And you can also insert the comments in Google Classroom, Google Docs, and Google Slides, as well as inserting audio into the Google Slides. So not only is Mo a great way to connect with your students, but it's also a huge time saver for teachers. Because instead of having to type out all of your comments, you can simply click on the record button, speak, and then post. And as I mentioned, even though it is a premium feature, having the ability to translate what you're saying into a transcript for students who speak another language is also super helpful. If you're using Moat in your classroom, please let us know how in the comment section below. And don't forget, in the description, there is a link to the Moat extension, as well as links to several other videos and tutorials. Now, if you know of any teachers who could benefit from watching this video, please feel free to share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the EdTech Show yet, please click on that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.